Once again, can I just do this video in peace? I think I can. Anyway, you two, what's up? I'm back. Uh, today's subject, the main subject we're going to get on is cheating. Well, <laughs> oh God. Let me move back here. Um, okay, so, say you, you've been with your significant other for X amount of time, and excuse me, all of a sudden they start acting funny. Say, like, they don't, like, spend as much time with you like they used to. They so-called working late. Or they going out often without you, or they just, it's just their whole demeanor has changed. More than likely, they're seeing someone else, and it's not because oh god, it's two sides to a story. I'm gonna give you the one one reason. One probably. The other person they see is doing what you're not doing. And the other reason is, it's probably because they want to try something new. As we call it, strange. They want some strange. And once they get tired of that, they come back to you. Or, I mean, they just, they like to cheat. Now, I can understand the first two. Last one. If you're going to cheat, either, <laughs> I, look, <laughs> keep it out in the streets. Don't bring it in. Don't bring it home. Now, another thing, why be in a relationship if you know you're going to cheat? That's stupid. Titi, why do they do that? Girl, don't ask me. Mm. They low dog ass me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, I mean, yeah, you might well be single if you're going to cheat. What's the fucking point of being with somebody and you're going to cheat? You just, you weren't meant to be with nobody right then and there. You think, oh, well, I love them. Yeah, you might love that person. But that doesn't mean, well, I love them, I want to be in a relationship, and then cheat. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. Common sense, people. Oh, let me tell you. Let's go for men and women. Now, if you your relationship is tight like that, or oh, you know y'all had that trust, so called, and your intuition kick in, and, you know, and you know they're doing wrong, and um, say they lay their phone on a table somewhere. And now at home. Some people will think that's wrong. Cause I had to reevaluate myself with this. Mm. I don't fuck that. If you living with me and we're together, we've been together for a minute. And both had a trust. But all of a sudden your demeanor changes. Oh, I'm gonna find out if you've been cheating on me or not. This is what you do if the significant other's phone is unlocked. Oh God, I'm breaking all codes here. Forgive me, YouTube. <laughs> oh, text messages don't lie, do they, TT? Nope. Mm. Call logs don't lie. Nope. <laughs> now the text message. Let me tell you. I know. You might, you know, get mad, upset, or whatever. Oh, how could they do this to me? And cry for a couple of days. Or whatever. The smartest thing to do. Smartest thing to do. With the text messages. Get all of them and send them to your email. Smartest thing. Now, if they got a, if they got the password to your email, I can't help you with that. I just can't help you, but you can send all those text messages they've been sending that other person to your email. 
which if you have email connected to your phone, you can pull up right there. And when you approach, you know, your significant other or whatever, your lover or whatever the case may be. And show them, this is what I found out about you. This is what you've been doing. And that's, that's the way they can't deny it. They can't say, well, if you don't have the evidence right there and you ask somebody, they're going to turn around and say, no. Nah. Hold on, give them a chance first before you even show that. Let them, let them plead their case first. If they say, no, nah, I haven't been doing this, I haven't been doing that, have your phone near you. Be calm about the situation. Don't start hollering, yelling, and, and throwing stuff. Have your phone near you. Pull up your email on your phone. Have all the text messages and the call logs and stuff like that in your phone. And say, oh, really? You haven't been doing nothing. Hmm. Well, they can't deny it. And then if they get mad, they're automatically guilty. That's dumb as hell. If you want to try to go out here and play on the street and you get caught, what the fuck you going to get mad for? That you dumb as hell. Yeah, you gotta play that shit cool. Now I hate when niggas talking about they pimps and shit and don't know and don't know what the fuck they doing. They get caught in the situation and then the wind up getting mad. What the fuck is that? That's some dumb shit. I mean, oh, I, this is so ignorant. But anyway, that's my tip. Um, on to the other subject, baby mama drama. Hmm, Kitty. <laughs> Kiki, oh shit, somebody's talking about me. Okay. Oh gosh, we're gonna get started on this shit. Something I don't do. With I don't do the drama shit. Anyway, period. I don't fucking do it. How to deal <laughs> if you're dating somebody? If a woman is dating a man, they always have a kid in the previous relationship. How to deal with that. Some baby mothers you can deal with. Others, they just, you, you have to leave that situation alone. My case, I said, fuck it. I'm not dealing with that shit because I'm not trying to catch a case. I'm not going to catch a case. I'm not going to catch a case because some dumb shit. No. Um, but if the baby mothers mature enough and have a good head on their shoulders and got common sense, and know to leave well enough alone, so be it. That's how it needs to be. Not because, oh, you you with my baby daddy. Okay, that's what it is. Your baby daddy. Bitch, he's not with you. He's not going to be with you. As long as he's with me. You know, I understand, for example. Alright, now, there's a difference. Okay, he's with me and he's still fucking you. That's some nasty shit. Trifling shit. That's trifling. That's nasty. I don't want what you have already had. Oh, uh, how I know about all this shit? Cause I've been through the motherfucking shit already. And I, you know, but anyway, that be on. I leave that shit alone. I can't. I can't do the drama. So anyway, that's all I have to say. The next time. Deuces, I'm going to holler at y'all.